All right, nerds, strap in. We've got rough waters ahead. This is the rumor mill. Things are about to get turbulent. Uh, this is uh, the, the rumor mill section that comes from the larger episode over on the main channel at Generally Nerdy on YouTube or just Generally Nerdy on Rumble. You can go check it out there. Uh, this is just the rumors, all of the rumors and nothing but the rumors. This None of this is uh, substantiated just yet. Otherwise, it would be news and not rumors. So without further further ado, let's get into this crazy, crazy rumor mill. And that brings us to none other than the rumor mill. We got some, I know what you did last summer, correction, uh, the refutation, I guess is what we call it in the rumor mill. Uh, we got Superman Legacy also in the refutation category. We have uh, some gaming stuff to talk about in new rumors. Let's get into it. First up is, I know what you did last summer. We talked previously about uh, the fact that Freddie Prinze Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar, I think is how we're supposed to say her name now, uh, were said to be returning for their roles in the reboot movie that still may or may not be a series also or related. I don't know. It's so murky right now because we're so early in development for these for uh, for these things. But uh, Freddie Prinze Jr. recently said that he actually hasn't been contacted by the people making this new movie. Um, and so as it stands, at least according to him right now, he's not going to be in the movie. And I believe he even said in this same interview that not even Sarah Michelle Gellar was going to be in the new movie. So I don't know. Is he purposefully gaslighting in order to, ha, sh fooled you. Here I am in the movie. Don't know. We'll keep tabs. Let's keep going. Uh, next is Superman Legacy. This one was, we didn't even talk about this rumor because it's one of those rumors. It's like, yeah, it's, that's not fun to talk about. They might be casting Superman. Cool. Uh, so James Gunn was asked specifically about, you know, there recently leakers, uh, specifically Grace Randolph, I believe, uh, said that they are going to be casting somebody in the, their 20s to 30s to play Superman and Lois and I think maybe one or two other Lex, maybe, um, characters for the movie. James Gunn was asked directly, came out directly and said, I don't have a casting director, so how could I be trying to cast actors if I don't have somebody in the role that casts actors? There you go. Uh, not happening. That's not to say that that's not where it's going to go. That's not to say that uh, he didn't run those numbers by somebody who then ran them by the, whoever the leaker is that Grace knows that's close to the situation. It, all of this is possible, but as it stands right now, officially, they are not casting Superman for Superman Legacy. So there you go. Uh, and then we have two new rumors for the episode. First one is Animal Man. Speaking of James Gunn and such, Animal Man is being rumored to be in development for a series over on HBO Max. Um, this one I'm giving a 55%. I don't necessarily like the source, but Animal Man is just obscure enough to have at least some sort of name recognition amongst the hardcore nerdy fandom. Uh, and, you know, they're they're the types to go, hey, I know, I remember Animal Man. He's been in a couple of things with some other characters, and I maybe read a book or two of his. Not exactly super familiar with him, but, you know, it is what it is. And also, he's an interesting enough character that James Gunn could go, you know, I can do something with that. Because, notoriously, he kind of does stuff with really obscure random characters. Polka Dot Man, anyone? No? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so... I, I can see a little bit of merit in this, specifically because of James Gunn's past. So we're giving this slightly better than halfway, because halfway means it's not, you know, we can't, we don't know one way or the other. I'm going to say 55% likely that Animal Man is going to be turned into a series over on HBO Max. And then our other rumor has to do with Game Pass. We're talking gaming on Xbox specifically. Xbox is going to be getting a 
uh, Nintendo game on Game Pass? Uh, apparently. Uh, so according to the rumor, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is rumored to be coming to uh, Game Pass over on the Xbox platforms, or Microsoft platforms, I guess. Uh, so specifically, I'm talking about Game Pass, which exists on the, uh, technically exists on the Xbox One, also the Xbox Series consoles, also, also, uh, Xbox Live on your PC. So uh, I'm giving this one 80% because the 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 leaker, the rumor comes from a source that has a, an amazing track record. Usually gaming rumors have been coming true as we've been covering them. So yeah, 80% likely that we're going to see Shin Megami Tensei on Game Pass for Microsoft in the near future. Once again, nerds, that was a short section that comes from a longer video on the main channel, Generally Nerdy, YouTube or Rumble. Take your pick. I'm on both. You can go find it there. You can go find all of the other news there as well including the live episode. We do a live episode roughly once a week, every Friday evening. You can join the conversation live, or you can just leave comments here on this one or any of the other ones you find on the Clips channel. Thank you very much, nerds. We've got other news to discuss in other videos, but while we're getting out of here, don't forget that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.